What is going on ladies and gentlemen around the world, I'm Afri Games here, welcome back to my channel, hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and in this Mortal Kombat 11 news update, we have yet another MK11 leak, and I know what you're thinking, it's the millionth MK11 leaked, but I think this one might actually be real. So in this leak, they, they talked about the box art for Mortal Kombat 11, they talk about Ronda Rousey playing Sonya Blade in MK11, and they talk about some in-game stuff. So an, an employee at Netherrealm uh, emailed somebody, I don't know if they emailed the wrong person, don't know, but I guess that person posted it on Reddit, and this was posted two weeks before before the announcement of more come 11 at the VGAs this was announced on November 21st 2018 but first things first before I actually pull up all this stuff just take this with a grain of salt because remember it is a leak even though it can be real just remember just take it with a grain of salt because it is a leak you never know but it's it's some good stuff but yeah I'm gonna post the email right here and as you can see, it says marketing update 11 21 2018. And as you can see, the person crosses, crossed out all this information so that way the person does not get in trouble at Netherrealm Studios. But as you can see, it says at netherrealm.com and it says announce December 6. Remember, this was posted November 21st, 2018, two weeks before this. But yeah. They talk about the announcement date. Uh, they talk about the TGA rail. I sent the latest version of the fake awards presentation that introduces our trailer earlier today. Please provide feedback ASAP. Remember when Ed Bull trolled the living crap out of us when we thought it wasn't gonna get? That was that. We have Shao Kahn Rail walk up. The agency has. Oh god, I'm weird. <laughs> the agency has the Shao Kahn walk up and all related files in hand. They are prepping it as a standalone asset. The next thing we have is key arts. We have handed off the key art to Mozarts for finishing. This is the same group that worked on the MKX key art. So we're asking to get our key art at the same level of quality and fidelity. So yeah, they got the same person, they're all the same team who did the MK. X uh, box art, but here is the actual box art. Uh, I, uh, I don't think this is too far fetched. I think this is what we actually might be getting. I don't think it's done yet, but I mean, it looks pretty cool. I have I mean, Scorpion, of course, they put Scorpion on it. It's there, like their flagship character to have him with his. And another interesting about this box art is that they have Scorpion with his new outfit with the outfit that they showed in the trailer but I don't, and I don't think a person would go out of their way to make up the scorpion look like the scorpion in the trailer I don't know it's just I don't know it just makes so much sense but yeah we have the new box art can't complain about that so this is very interesting we have Sonia slash Rhonda trailer Ronda Rousey will be at MK Day, which is January 17th, there are real events, and will be part of the live stream stage presentation. We're prepping a short video to introduce her and announce her as the voice of Sonya. I've started sending over what we have for Sonya, which hasn't been much so far. I'm expecting a V1 soon. And for those of you guys who don't know, this hasn't been a lot of like stars as voices for characters in Mortal Kombat. And if this is true, Ronda Rousey, I have no problems. I think she'll be kind of a perfect fit for Sonya. Usually we have just professional voice actors doing the voice. But now I guess they want to bring in a high level of... No, not a high level. Pfft, scratch that. They just want to bring in Ronda Rousey. Which I'm fine with it. That's cool. Uh, yeah, I have just have no problem with that. That's awesome. The next one we have is the Garrus trailer, and I think Garrus might be this character, the the girl character, the new character that they uh, revealed in the trailer with the whole time thing. Instead of it going down, it's going up in the hourglass. It's going up instead of down. I think this might be her. Uh, don't know. Just taking a guess. But it says Garrus trailer marketing. Originally wanted to show a Shao Kahn trailer. 
to tout their pre order exclusive character. That doesn't seem possible. So we're now looking at doing a Garrus gameplay trailer to show off one of the brand new characters. This would be created internally and would be a mix of gameplay and cinema. Any info on where Garrus stands and when we can start capturing gameplay in earnest would be very helpful. So yeah, I'm going to show off some, a trailer of this new character called Garrus. I'm guessing it's the the girl from the MK11 trailer. Don't know, but we will have to see. We have to see who Garrus is. And the next one, it's the good stuff, guys. It's the meat and potatoes. Okay, we have live gameplay walkthrough. We have we intend on putting together a live gameplay walkthrough similar to what we've done at E3 in the years past. This would be a video of pre-recorded gameplay and UI with someone speaking live over the footage, discussing the big elements of the game, the game info to cover and clues. The first one is core gameplay. The next one is fighting, presentation, custom variations, crushing blows, supers, towers, towers of time, online multiplayer, fatalities, brutalities, gore as an end cap. We need to start building an outline for what this should be so we can prep for capture and build a schedule to put this together. I understand that we'll, that we'll want to pull the latest footage for this to make it as impressive as it can be but due to the logistics of the live stream we must deliver this in advance of mk day events and next one and i think this is the last one it says uh burbank marketing will be showcasing the announced assets i'll be giving a walkthrough of the game focusing on gameplay pillars early Access for premium edition purchasers has been killed. To be clear, this was early access for, for the full game at launch. That is no longer being considered. Early access to DLC characters is still on the table. Marketing is planning to announce the game with, uh, with our launch date, which is set at 4.23. Metadata assets will not be sent out until we announce the game. Most most of our <coughs> oh god excuse me most of our partners for his party GameStop will be able to pre-order pre-orders to get pre-orders up and running by the next day. Some territories and small accounts could take a week or up to two weeks to get pre-orders up and running. So here to talk about you know some games get early access. They clearly do not want to do this, but for the DLC. I think you'll still get like the one week or the two weeks early access for that. I think that's cool. Don't have a problem with that. But yeah, there's one more thing I forgot to talk about, which I, I should have talked about, which was a live gameplay walkthrough. So we have fighting, presentation, game, uh, custom variations, crushing, crushing blows, supers. I just want to talk about that really quick. So custom variations, which I think will actually be a custom variation your custom character crushing blows I think that's gonna be new have no clue what that is hopefully it's something interesting uh, hopefully something badass I think it will be don't know we will have to see on the real events next we have a supers don't know what this is are uh, they bringing supers from injustice don't know <laughs> the next one is towers of time which are the towers but this is the thing I want to get into right now. This is what I'm super excited about. Please let this be in. The fatalities, brutalities. Let's stop right there. Brutalities. Greatest thing ever. They are just... Oh, just the greatest thing ever. Just ending your match and a brutality. Oh my... Especially if it's a hard one. It's just the most... It's just the best. It's just... Oh, it gets you so pumped. I'm glad that that's in there. The next one we have is Gore as an end cap. I got... I don't know, blood. <laughs> I have no idea. But yeah, this is this wraps up the information that we have for the leak. Once again, I think this kind of can be credible because it is from another um, employee. But then again, you never know. You never know with these leaks until another um, 
actually announces it. But yeah, that's the end of the video, guys. I hope it wasn't too long. Let me know in the comments down below. What are your thoughts on this leak? Do you guys agree that it can be? They, do you agree that it can be real or fake? Let me know in the comments down below. I would really like to know. And I'm gonna leave you with this gameplay. Uh, sorry if the gameplay is not the greatest. <laughs> uh, it's just random gameplay that I have. But yeah, hopefully you guys just uh, enjoy this gameplay. Remember, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, hit that notifications button, so that way you don't miss out on anything Mortal Kombat 11 related. I really appreciate it if you were to give this video at least one like. Drop down one like for your boy. Just drop down one like. It would mean a lot to me. But thank you guys for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I'm Offer Games, and I'll catch you guys in the next Mortal Kombat 11 news update. Thank you guys, and peace out. Action.